a big 62-57 win tonight over Austin Peay. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement. Really huge bounce back win. Uh, I, our kids needed this tonight. We needed to get back on the right track. Uh, we had been playing really, really well. Uh, and then obviously had two really tough games uh, against Belmont. But that was uh, that was our, our word for tonight, was resilient. And I thought our kids were extremely resilient tonight. And it was resilient for a lot of reasons. You know, it was uh, resilient was our word because this is our annual Play for K game where we honor breast cancer survivors, those that have been affected by breast cancer, but also all cancers. And so we talked before the game and earlier today about who we wanted to be and how we wanted um, those individuals that we were honoring tonight, what we wanted them to think about us at the end of this 40 minutes. And uh, I think I think every person that we played for tonight, whether they're still here with us or they have passed on, would be very proud of how the tough this team was and how resilient they were tonight over a really tough, physical, scrappy, deep Austin P team. So just a really, really big bounce back win. It wasn't a pretty game, but the important thing is it's a W. No question. Hey, listen, all, all that matters in February is that W and and we were able to pull that out tonight. Um, you know, I, I thought I thought for the most part outside of the turnovers, uh, you know, again, you know, it's still something that we were struggling with um, and we really struggled with it in the last minute and a half of the game and, and allowed them to to really get back in the game. But I, I thought defensively we found our way again. Um, you know, we held. Uh, Austin P to nine points in the third quarter. We didn't score a lot in the third quarter either, uh, but we were able to hold them down. Um, and, and I just really liked our effort. I really liked our toughness. And then the other area that I thought finished the game was at the free throw line. We were huge at the free throw line. Uh, 14 of 17 from the free throw line, 82%. I thought Mackenzie Coleman hit two big ones there at the end. So, you know, at this time of the year, you just, you got to find a way. And I thought our kids found a way tonight. And with as, as fast as they were pushing the, the, the press, the girls just seemed to have the, the stamina to kind of withstand it. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, that was another thing we talked about at halftime. You know, we had a choice. We could either be tired or we could be tough yeah. uh, because I, I can promise you Austin P wasn't going to be tired. Uh, and, and they're a team that presses you for 40 minutes. They make you really work hard to get, get the ball in inbounds and uh, just try to wear you down. And, uh, you know, it, it, there were times where our fatigue showed a little bit. I thought that was at the end of the game with some of the sloppy turnovers. Um, however, uh, our kids were able to, to go on to the next play and make plays when they had to. 62 points tonight, but the shooting percentages were much improved over the last two games. Yeah, you know, we're st we still didn't shoot it well uh, from the three. You know, we were four of 16 from the three, 25%, uh, but overall we were 50% from the floor. And I thought our shot selection, I thought our shot selection was good. I didn't think we, we forced shots. Um, you know, I, I, we just got to take better, better care of the basketball, uh, especially going into uh, Saturday's game against a very good Murray team. They had a huge win tonight on the road against Jacksonville, and they are playing extremely well. And so it's been, a, you know, that there's not been a lot of preparation time this week. Uh, and so you have to have a level of grit. You have to have a level of resilience. I will keep using that word. And you have to have a level of toughness. You know, we played on Tuesday. We, you know, we tried to prep as much as we could yesterday, played again today. We'll have a walk through tomorrow and turn around and, and play again on Saturday. But the positive of that is, you know, when we get to Evansville next week, you know, we're going to have to play to win a championship. You got to play three games in three days. And what great lessons this are this is for our team. Um, you know, we're, we're learning how to have to have to play, not necessarily on back to back days, but play when we're tired and play through some fatigue. And in order to win a championship, we're going to have to do that. So um, just again, just really loved, loved our toughness, uh, you know, and I thought it was just a balanced effort by a lot of a, a lot of people. I thought a lot of people had some really, really big plays. Uh, you know, I, I, Jada, Jada Gwynn, I thought did a really solid job for the most part of 
handling the basketball and that pressure all night. I know she, you know, she's not going to like, nor do I necessarily that, that turnover uh, category there, but she had 16 points, five assists and three steals on the flip side. Right. So, you know, if, if you, if you have those turnovers, you better be doing something else. And I, and I thought, you know, even though, you know, um, she was being pressed all night long. I thought she, I thought she did a solid job. And I just thought we, we had really good team defense tonight um, from a lot of individuals and a lot of individuals played really, really hard. Even not on the boards, but when you've got a opposing team that's as physical as that is, that's still a win. Yeah, you know, that was another thing that we talked about that we needed to do a better job of at halftime. Um, we had given up seven offensive boards uh, at, at halftime, we ended up giving that, but the, the positive was they had not converted a lot of those. I think they only had two second chance points. The different was difference was they, they had six in the second half, but they started converting those second chance points. And I think probably maybe six or nine points came in that last minute and a half. And they got some threes off of those offensive boards, just not us finishing plays. So we, we've got to, we've got to take those lessons, just like we took the lessons. We had some hard lessons on Tuesday night against Belmont, but I thought, I thought we grew, um, you know, from Tuesday to Thursday and got better. And we've got to do the same thing on Saturday against Murray. That will be senior day. We will get to honor two very special players uh, in Abby Buckner and uh, and Taylor Lamb and also our senior manager, Blake Ledbetter. And so we want to make sure that we send them out uh, the right way, just like I, I thought we honored and played very, very hard tonight uh, during our play for K game. All right. We'll see you back here on Saturday. Thanks, Thomas.